Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of Good to the Green. Uh, this week we're going to do three more product reviews. I was going to do a craft, but as I don't have a lot of my supplies here, um, I couldn't think of anything sort of cute and eco-friendly to do. So, maybe next week. Okay, first product is Aubrey Organics uh, Facial Cleansing Cream. I just started using this about two weeks ago, but so far I really like it. Um, I had been using another natural product before, which was, it was alright, but this is definitely my favorite. Uh, this one, it says it's for combination dry skin, but I have more... I don't want to say oily skin, but you know, you know, like it's not, it's not dry. But I find this stuff is is quite gentle and works, and still manages to clean quite well. Uh, it's vegan, not tested on animals or anything, obviously. Um, biodegradable, and it's 100% natural ingredients. So I would, I would recommend it. I definitely like the stuff. There are a couple other types. I haven't tried anything else. Um, this is this is the first time I've seen Aubrey Organics in Canada. I've heard a lot about the brand previously, um, but I wasn't able to find any of the products here. But I was at the um, health food store the other day and they had this stuff, so I thought, oh, you know, I heard it's looking pretty good, so I thought I'd give it a try, and I'm glad I did because I really like it. So that's Aubrey Organics facial cleanser, facial cleansing cream. Okay, the next product is something I've been using for quite a long time. It's been a favorite of mine for, ooh, I don't know, 10 years now. Um, I've been using it ever since I was a little girl. I used to get it at this health food store on the way up to my cottage, and I get it a couple times a year. Um, and I love it. So it's Kiss My Face Moisturizer. I have it in Peaches and Cream and in the Olive and Aloe. I recommend the peaches and cream for more of a summer moisturizer, and if your skin's a little bit oilier, this one's quite good. And this one is more of a winter moisturizer, or if your skin's quite dry. Um, they're 100% biodegradable, pH balance, no animal ingredients, no parabens, no artificial colors, and not tested on animals. Um, I quite like them. You can get them. You can actually get them at Shoppers now. They do sell these at Shoppers Drug Mart. Uh, and most health food stores will carry them. So if you're looking for a good moisturizer, I would recommend these two. They're not as natural or as good as some other products in terms of environmentally, but they're, they're still a lot better than your conventional, you know, petroleum-based or mineral oil-filled moisturizer. They're, they're very good. I highly recommend these two. Okay, the final product is a faux chicken product. They are veggie chicken breasts, um, and this particular variety is in a herb Dijon marinade. Quite low in fat, a um, little high in sodium, but very good for your iron, very good for your B12, so a lot of things that, you know, vegetarians need to eat. And these things really do taste like chicken. Um, I haven't been a vegetarian long enough to have forgotten what chicken does taste like. Um, I've only been like a, you know, full vegetarian for the last, I don't know, six months or so. Um, before that, I did eat meat on occasion. So I do know what meat tastes like. I haven't, I haven't forgotten. And this stuff tastes and has the same texture as meat. So if you, if you're trying to convert a friend to vegetarianism, uh, you could definitely serve this at like a dinner party or something and tell them it was meat because they would probably believe you. It is, I found it quite remarkable. Like I actually had to go back and check the packaging to make sure I wasn't actually eating chicken. Um, there's, there's different ways to prepare it. Uh, one method is boiling it in the bag, which I haven't tried. Uh, and the other one is just microwaving it. You basically just microwave it for about two minutes. And they come in, they come in little individual bags. Um, yeah, see, that's what, it, that's what it looks like. It does, once it's out of the bag and everything, it does quite look like chicken too. Um, so yeah, so, they're quite yummy. Um, and they're actually very filling. 
uh, some vegetarian products, you know, they're not, they don't fill you up that much, but these, these really do. Um, yeah, so I recommend them. It's by, it's all good. Maybe chicken breast. I just got these at my local grocery store. Um, I have a fairly good grocery store, so I don't know if they'd be able to harder to find. But I would check where all the foam meat products and the tofu products are, which is usually near the um, product section. Alright, so that's all for this week. Um, as always, if you want me to review a particular product or a type of product, such as, you know, you want to know a good brand of toothpaste, just leave me a message in the comments, and I'll see what I can do. So, until next week, peace.